Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be doing a wish list of some of my most wanted Transformers Studio Series figures based on the War for Cybertron slash Fall of Cybertron video games. With the most recent news that hopefully this time next year we shall see War for Cybertron back on our shelves in the form of Studio Series, I thought this would be the perfect time to give you guys my own personal wish list as to what characters I think Hasbro should make for this War for Cybertron slash Fall of Cybertron subline. And I would absolutely love to know down in the comment section below what characters you guys would also like to see. Of course, War for Cybertron and especially Fall of Cybertron gave us a plethora of Decepticons and Autobots. So definitely really exciting times ahead, especially with Rise of the Beasts as well. So with all that being said, let's kickstart our list. So we already know that what is rumored to come out is going to be a Voyager class Optimus Prime and Megatron based on War for Cybertron, a Deluxe Barricade, Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper. And one of the characters which I am wanting the most has got to be a Fall of Cybertron character, or should I say characters, those being the Combaticons, which which of course when combined form Bruticus. Now Bruticus was actually my first ever combiner. That figure that came out way back in the day 2012-2013 was my first ever Transformers combiner so it definitely does hold a very special place in my heart and I mean the design is just sick. I think all of those Fall of Cybertron characters look incredible but if Hasbro were to do something very similar to what we saw from their Michael Bay Devastator, hands down this could be one of the coolest combiners that they've ever put together. I do believe this guy is comprised out of five limbs I want to say two arms two legs and then of course the torso and one of the biggest issues that the first figure I personally thought was plagued with was that it just wasn't big enough onslaught one of the biggest combaticons was a deluxe class and he was super heavily compromised way back in the day so I would love to see a Voyager class onslaught and the rest of the combaticons could be deluxes although I too also like to see them be voyagers so definitely hands down combaticons I think that would be cool and it opens up a Pandora's box of repaints Hasbro could do. Not only could they repaint the individual characters, but they could reissue a box set, much like we saw way back in the day, of an actual G2 color deco variant, which I would pick up, I'm not gonna lie. Another figure which I would love to see is kind of a mix, War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron, and it's Soundwave. I think Soundwave is actually one of the rare characters which actually got a pretty decent treatment back in the day. For War for Cybertron, we saw a cool deluxe figure, and then for Fall of Cybertron, we actually got a Voyager class, which was really cool. It had this gimmick where you would slap the back and basically his cassette bots would pop out and transform. So that was really cool, but I love the design of Soundwave from those games. I think the Cybertronian vehicle mode he had was so cool. I loved the electric purple color scheme that he had kind of pulsating through his body. And Soundwave, the communications officer of the Decepticons. You just have to have this guy. But one of the most anticipated and my most wanted characters from the Autobot portion would have to be hands down Fall of Cybertron Jazz. I think that is such a beautiful design. One of the best designs that we've ever seen from those High Moon Studio games. It captured the essence of what we originally saw way back in G1, yet stylized him so nicely. I just thought he was such a cool character. And sadly, this is once again another release, which when the first time it came out, wasn't the greatest. So definitely Fall of Cybertron Jazz, I would love. And that kind of leads me on to the next one, as I'd also like to see a Fall of Cybertron slash War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Sideswipe. Now Hasbro could go kind of cheap with this, much like we saw way back in the day. Sideswipe could essentially be a basic retool, very minor retool slash repaid of the Jazz Mold, as their vehicle modes are very similar. But if we get Sideswipe in any shape or form, I'm going to be picking it up. P2 had such a cool design, really original. I really liked what they did with him, so I'd love to get that guy. And now we're moving back to the Decepticon side, and it is none other than Shockwave. This was actually the first time or one of my first introductions to Shockwave. I briefly saw him in Dark of the Moon and thought he was an absolute badass, but as you guys all know, sadly, that version of Shockwave really didn't get the screen time and the presence that he deserved, so here comes the Fall of Cybertron games, and my mind was just absolutely blown away. Not only was the design killer, but he was super sadistic and sinister. He was just so awesome. He actually created the Dinobots in that game, which I thought was cool. So I would love this guy. Voyager class Shockwave, hands down, has to happen. As let's face it, the original deluxe version wasn't all that great. So would love to see this figure. And talking of Fall of Cybertron Shockwave, 
we have to get his creations, those in the form of the Dinobots. Now the Dinobots from the High Moon Studio games have got to be up there with some of my favourite designs that we have ever seen for them. Grimlock in particular, such a smashing figure, I thought Planet X did a beautiful job and they kind of gave us that masterpiece-esque release, but I want to see what Hasbro can do with a leader class version of Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. Can you guys just imagine how beast that would be standing on the shelf alongside some of your other Studio Series figures? We've seen what they can do with the 1986 Dinobots so I can only imagine how epic Fall of Cybertron Dinobots could be and don't stop a Grimlock don't do an Age of Extinction Grimlock on us give us the rest of the team give us Swoop give us Snarl give us Slug I want all of them and I really hope that they are finally given the proper treatment they deserve as back in the day Hasbro only released Grimlock and it was left up to Planet X to fill in the gaps and actually give us the other Dinobots so really hoping that they do eventually get around to these guys I would also love to see a Voyager class Starscream. Now this is an instant cash grab for Hasbro, not only could they create such a fantastic figure, but they could repaint it so much, like we saw way back in the day. Not only have you instantly got Starscream, Thundercracker and Skywarp, but you could slightly retool it, I mean I guess you could make a concept idea of the Conehead, you could kind of just throw any colours on there you want, an Acid Storm, you know, anything. I really do think this would be such a good mould for them to utilise, as they'd definitely get their bang for their buck and Starscream was actually one of the few deluxes that I thought we saw back in the day which was a pretty decent figure so you can only imagine what they'd do with the Voyager budget and next comes a character which I guess isn't too popular amongst many of us but I love the design it has to be Air Raid I think Air Raid is such a fantastic design I mean this is a figure that I want to say was released but I think it was a slight read slash repaint of Shockwave back in the Fall of Cybertron line and this guy just deserves his own body mold I mean he looks fantastic the design is so so cool love to get a deluxe or a voyager hopefully a voyager class of air raid and then some characters which i think are slightly more unlikely at least for the foreseeable future would be titan slash commander class so for titan class i mean trypticon from war for cybertron how badass was trypticon in those games i remember that boss battle was just so hard and i would love to get a new trypticon based on that yet again planet x came out with a terrific figure but i want to see hasbro's take their titan releases have come on leaps and bounds since we got the original metroplex way back in 2013 so definitely would love to see a trypticon it would be such a holy grail for us war for cybertron fans and then talking of metroplex i would like to see them do a true to form version of that character now granted i do believe the 2013 version was a loose based on that design but it was kind of stuck in the middle it was partially g1 partially high moon studios i just want to see a straight up war for cybertron slash fall of cybertron metroplex is that so hard hasbro give the fans exactly what they want and while they're at it i guess they could give us a mega supreme as well but like i said those titans i think are slightly less likely to happen just as not only are we yet to see any titan class in studio series but considering they've very recently put out an omega supreme and trypticon and metroplex in the past five years i don't think that these guys are sadly going to happen anytime soon but 100 percent would love to see the combaticons bruticus would love to see jazz shockwave grimlock the dinobots sideswipe starscream and the seekers and not to forget air raid and hopefully some of those titans so that pretty much wraps up some of the characters that i am the most looking forward to seeing of course considering we're getting a war for cybertron megs and optimus undeniably they'll be repainted and retooled in the future to represent their fall of cybertron selves as they've only got to do partial retooling to megatron and even to optimus to actually get that look but definitely exciting times ahead i think to be a transformers fan is just absolutely killer at the moment you know we've got transformers prime back in some kind of capacity whilst it's not the greatest at least it's something we've got transformers studio series which in regards to the 1986 and michael bay characters they're absolutely killing it so Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron, let's go, let's see what 2023 has in store for us and be sure to sound off down in the comment section below as to what you guys hope to see in the future. I thank you all so much for watching and until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.